Hi right, guys, Robbo46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP20 on the Xbox One X. We're going to do some more historic mode today, and uh, that is what is in the market at the moment. Not fussed about any of them at the moment. Um, we'll see what comes up when we do the actual challenge. Difficult challenge is what we're going to do today. We did an easy um, intermediate yesterday, I know that the challenges have changed, but we'll do a, a difficult one this time so we can choose two Rossies, uh, Colin Edwards from 2007 or Spider-Man Melandry from 2004. I'm going to go with Spider-Man Melandry for this one. We've also got Pedroza as well but yeah we'll use Melandry. Alright. So we need medium begins. front, medium rear. Got a full tank of fuel in. Luckily, we're not starting at the back, the which is good. Perfectly. But uh, yeah, Hareth, Spider Man Melandry. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. So the AI is set on 120% for the uh, difficult challenges. We've gone into the lead, into turn one. Oh. Someone was trying to come through there, but they, they couldn't make it through. Oh, Bayless has crashed. I think a few of them just crashed, actually. There were about three of them that were uh, off the side of the map there. Right, we'll have to keep an eye on the fuel. And uh, see how we go. I'm not going to be able to use... Um, power to mapping for the whole race so we'll have to turn that down maybe after this lap see what kind of lead we've got half a second lead at the moment from uh Digero Kato okay well right, we're doing all right so far I mean, surely if someone comes past, I can just shoot web at them and uh, <laughs> that will stop them. They've closed right in, mate. Closed right in. Can we stay in the lead? I don't know. Oh, bit of a moment there. Touch the inside curb. Into Jorge Lorenzo corner. Oh, no! Okay, luckily we didn't damage anything then. We are still in the lead just about. I'm going to have to go careful though. So we're not getting away from them. So it seems to me like the AI is, well in this mode anyway, actually quicker than uh, when we're doing like a free career at the moment. Seems to be more competitive. And the back straight. Power down to one now because uh, I'm always going to run out of fuel. So we've got nine laps to do around here all together. Our lead is not much at all. We're not getting away. What is the gap? Oh, irrelevant. Ukawa is half a second behind. He's not leaving me alone. Is he going to have a dive up the inside? I'm going to have to keep going defensive into Lorenzo corner because otherwise I know what's going to happen. We're either going to get taken out or just uh, completely mullered, um, especially on the final lap. So, Melandry, which is me, just set fast lap a race. 138.3. Let's see if we can maintain that. Through C 
Tito Pons corner. I did, um, I, I changed the, the gear ratio slightly. I did do a couple of test runs and, uh, yeah, just to try and get a, uh, well, just A, get get used to a MotoGP bike again after using Moto3. And, uh, secondly, to, to try and figure out a, a good set for the gear ratios because I didn't want the, the default ones because they're too long. So I just changed the over, overall ratio by two clicks. Uh, but I, I still think gear five is just a little bit long. I could have done with much shortening the fifth gear. So we're coming to the end of lap three. It's still in the lead. That was uh, Ukawa going very wide. I think he's, yeah, he's just lost second place. So Loris Caparossi up to second momentarily. Ukawa's got it back. Caparossi fastest lap of the race, so he's in third. Didn't hear that Honda behind. Nah, he's gone wide. He almost went into the back of me. Caparossi up to second. I think that. I'm just going to have to try and defend the best I can because I can't pull away from them. We get a little gap here, 0.7. And the rest of the lap, that just comes down. Yeah, we're closing on the straight as well because I went on the kerb. And my fifth gear being a little bit too long is not helping the situation. Cabrassi was too hot into the last corner got back into second. Spider-Man Melandri doing the business at the moment. Yeah, they, they really close in through uh, this section. Ties aren't doing great at the moment. Um... Still got a few laps to go. Okay, they're pretty close now. Defend into Lorenzo corner, make him go the long way around. But Landry, I dropped to second place. Uh, Caparossi momentarily got into the lead. In fact, there he goes. He's got me. Late on the break, so into turn one. And he switched to the outside there, which is a little bit weird. Um, and that sent him wide. So, uh, I keep saying Melandry. I'm Melandry. Um, Caparossi has lost a few positions. Mikawa up to third again. So Caparossi is still in second, so even though he went wide, he managed to regain that second place. But yeah, I don't think they're going to leave me alone at all in this race. But then... You know, it's a difficult challenge, so you don't want it to be easy. And we win, what, 15,000 diamonds if we uh, win this race? Yeah, the, the prizes that you win reset daily and when you get a podium finish as well. of lap 5 and we're just holding on to the lead by the skin of our teeth at the moment the bike is starting to move around even more on acceleration power up to 2 just to see if I can pull away a little bit at the moment so 
the gap's still 0.7, but it's been 0.7 through that split like every lap. But right here is where the difference is going to be made with uh, power mapping too, and yeah, it is making a difference. Because usually they uh, reel me in on that bit, so I'm going to have to keep switching the power to 2 when we get to that straight. Getting towards the end of the race, but we've still got a few laps to go, and the rear tyre is it's definitely going off. The front tyre is not faring much better. Yeah, it caught me up again. Ukawa in second place. He's caught me back up. This is not looking good. To defend again into Lorenzo corner and just hope that he tries to go the long way around. Yeah, I think he did. Caparossi back up the second. Okay, down into turn one. Come on, we can do this. We've led most of the race. So is it going to go back up to 0.7 again through this split? I expect so. Yeah, it is. Okay, on to the back straight. Putting the power on too down the straight is definitely helping a bit. Usually they were uh, catching me down the straight. I think they get a better run out the, the corner before the straight. We've got two laps to go after this one. We've just got to hang on for two more laps. Is that going to be possible? Come on, come on. Two laps. Don't mess it up. Don't get a penalty or anything like that. Come on. Out we go. Mikawa. Pedroza's in third. Actually, Pedroza's in second place. Danny Pedroza has made it up to second place. Oh, he's going to come past and I could hear that Honda really really get close but he's just gone wide into turn one. Yukawa back up the second. Draws it down to fourth who's uh, dropped behind Caparossi now. I'm definitely having some problems with the, the Yamaha. The tyres are not feeling good anymore. Power on two just to help for the beginning of this lap because they're really, really close. We'll have to switch it down to one soon because we've only got 2.6 uh, laps of fuel left. Finish this lap strong, and then we've literally just got to do one more lap. We can put power up to two for the final lap as well. We've got enough fuel. They might just have a little bit more tyre left, and if they've got enough fuel, they're going to put their power mapping up to two as well. Okay, final lap. Power up to two. Let's do this. Don't you dare mess up. Not on the final lap. Come on, Spider Man Malandri. We can do this. as usual under 
two laps of fuel remaining, but that's fine because this is the last lap. That's more to happen for the final time. Throws a corner and he's in second place. Got a little gap at the moment, but that's about to be a, uh, a very small gap now. Droza is closing. I'm a little bit concerned. Is he going to have a last ditch attempt into the final corner? That wasn't a good exit from me. Through Crivier. Through Ferrari. One corner to go. He is closing. Defensive. It's going to have to be. I think it's worked. I think it's worked. Yes, it has. Okay, that was tough. That was very tough. But we made it. Spider-Man Melandry. Top of the podium, 15,000 diamonds. Contest where the riders gave their all Thank you very much. We can finally find out the name of the rider. Didn't have the fastest the lap, that went to Caparossi. Right, let's see what we can unlock. So 21,000, right, so we've got Rossi on the Ducati, Gary McCoy, and Yamaha team from 2006, so we'll unlock all of them. Just as well. Okay. Right, guys, I'm going to leave us here. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and wash your hands. See you.